whenever you know t opposing teams came to play your team, you were the guy that they had to focus on on stopping. Now the, there's other options besides you on Good this luck team. With that, right? Exactly. Yeah. I like get antsy just thinking about it because I haven't had those opportunities. And it's the same with the other two guys in D8. Like he's like, okay, when you we played you, we pretty much doubled you when you had the ball. He's like, but with you with us, who are you going to double team? Where, where are your rotations going to look like? Just that two seconds, I was like, damn, like I, I, that makes a lot of sense, you know, so. But I'm excited about it. Like You have a lot of dynamic scores who the biggest box that we check is our unselfishness and the biggest thing we want to win. With Bradley Bill now a member of the Phoenix Suns, forming a core of Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Bill, and DeAndre Ayton, how far would this addition take the Phoenix Suns in the 2023-2024 NBA season? The Phoenix Suns finished as the number four seed last season with a 45 and 37 record. Unfortunately, their postseason ended in the conference semifinals against the reigning NBA champion Denver Nuggets, losing in the series 4-2. Shortly after, in their blockbuster deal, the Suns pick up Beal for Chris Paul, Landry Shamit, four future first-round pick swaps, and six future second-round picks, officially making this arguably the best team on paper in an entire NBA. This is the most stacked roster Bradley Beal has ever been on. He's never played with a player of Kevin Durant's caliber, and pairing that with another elite wing scorer and Devin Booker could put up some major offensive damage. However, the concerns of this team isn't offensively. One can argue it never was. The defensive end is where this team really struggled in the postseason, allowing the Devin Nuggets to reach over 118 points five out of the six games they played in the conference semifinals. On top of getting blown out by 25 points in an elimination game, the Denver Nuggets were simply the better team. Bradley Bro averaged 23.2 points per game, 4 rebounds, and 5.4 assists last season for the Wizards that finished in 12th place in the Eastern Conference with a record of 35-47. and 47. Very subpar. Although these numbers aren't bad, I don't understand why going out and getting another 3-level scorer when you already have two of the best ones in the league already. I believe going out and increasing their depth on the wings, that they now that they lost Cam Johnson and Mikael Bridges, um, could have been an ideal solution for them. Is there a world where D-Book, KD, and B-Bill can exist offensively? Yes. They all, possess the, they all possess the ability to knock down open jumpers even without the ball in their hands. However, these three don't possess even average defensive capabilities. Kevin Durant is the only exception. And honestly, his defensive abilities fell off after leaving Golden State, in my opinion. Um, obviously, due to his Achilles tear, but he's not the same defensive player that uh, he once was. Devin Booker and Bradley Bill are below average defenders and DeAndre Ayton seems to be the only presence that they have at the rim but even he's not this defensive player of the year type candidate either he's he's average at best so it's basically Russian roulette uh, with this team next season their offense is, is great um, it's definitely going to be good enough to be one of the best in the league no doubt but on the defensive side it seems to be just as much of a drop off you know as good as their offense is going to be so they're they're playing Russian roulette uh, with this trade, like we we we've, we've already seen this before. We already saw what happened uh, the last time you paired three offensive juggernauts, and that was in Brooklyn. Their depth was basically non-existent, and they had defensive issues their whole run together, and they couldn't stay healthy. The only way they made that team work was um, at least having Harden, who could be that playmaker between Durant and Irving. But who's going to be the playmaker in Phoenix? There's literally no point guard. Campaign is coming off the bench. They're going to start Bradley Bill at the one. And he averaged 5.4 assists last season. He's not this great playmaker either. So I don't know. Phoenix, I don't know if Kevin Durant, you know, really pushed for this. Kevin Durant, Devin Booker really pushed for this. I don't I don't know what's going on. I mean, obviously they did. But this, I don't know if this is going to end well. This, is, this can either go really good or really bad. And I'm leaning more on the side of going bad. If this, if this doesn't work, it's going to be one of the worst moves we've ever seen. Due to the fit, the contracts, Bradley Bill, they, Bradley, Bradley Bill, Devin Booker, KD, they're all on max contracts. Uh, the depth issues that they now have. Um, the Phoenix Suns team that made it to the NBA Finals in 2021, they had the depth. They had almost everything that the team needed. But this team, they're just very, very top heavy. I know they just went out and got bowl bowl. Is that going to move the needle? No, not for me. Uh, not to mention the, the defensive issues that they're going to face. I mean, I don't know, man. If, if this is Kevin Durant's way of trying to win a championship without needing the assistance of Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors, 
he's not been doing a good job of it because every roster he's put together since then has just been top heavy just a bunch of stars you pair together a bunch of guys that you know and you think it's gonna work like that man like it's not the, the fit it just doesn't fit i mean we'll see they they can't prove me wrong but you know until i i see some type of evidence of that i don't think the phoenix Suns are gonna win the championship next year like i said they can prove me wrong but you know a couple years down the line if they don't have at least one championship we're gonna be looking back at this like hey i told you i told you so or they can win next year and just shut everybody up you know, but I don't see that happening, honestly. But we'll see. Uh, this is the end of today's video. Leave a like. We're going.